CJOB. Global News at 7.30. I'm Skylar Peters. Manitoba Premier Brian Pallister is calling for a merger of management services for the province's public sector pensions. Pallister says he's not suggesting the funds themselves merge, only that they be managed as a group. He says a much larger pool of funds would be subject to lower management fees, and that could save roughly $200 million a year on a combined pool of $40 billion. bucks. Pallister says those savings could boost the pension fund's long-term sustainability or be reinvested to increase returns. Government officials are to meet with people who oversee the various public, public, public sector pension funds in the coming weeks to discuss the issue. The premiers and territorial leaders have also sat down to dinner this evening to start two days of talks in Ottawa with the prime ministers. Today's new figures show the federal government's projected deficit of $19.8 billion for the year ending in March is now slated to balloon to $26.6 billion. The finance department says the increased deficit is largely due to changes of how employee pensions and benefits are calculated but it also accounts for a tax break that takes effect on New Year's Day. And no one is hurt after a house fire in the north end today. The city says firefighters... Co-ed sports like volleyball, dodgeball. I'm not looking short term here, Dave. I'm looking long term. Acknowledge it didn't work, Dave. Dave, are you listening? No. I, I, okay, you need to let you all the time, and you're a moron. Oh my God. If mediocrity is what you want, you got all the answers. You guys stop. You can find more from the Score North TCL studios on demand at scorenorth.com. TCL, America's fastest growing TV brand. When a child is diagnosed with a life-threatening condition, Chris. Covering it, of course, as uh, every new day this was, and it was in the midst of Arab Spring, and here it was, we couldn't believe it, in Syria, in Aleppo, this spirit, this, this street was erupting, and it seemed, wow, this revolution is going to take it was really a very, very powerful time. You must have it yourself thought that that was the story. Yeah, it, it was the amazing things that happened. Like we were seeing all this like protests and all this like revolution on the ground, and on the like formal channels or in the regime like propaganda on this thing. He was like first he denied everything happening. And second, he started like to say, yeah, there's something, but these people are terrorists. These people are like bad people. They don't want anything good for the country. So we, at that time, we really found out that we should do something.